Okay, platelets are cells in the blood whose job is to stop bleeding during an, an injury. And the way they do this is by holding hands, essentially there's receptors on the platelet surface that bind a molecule, a glue-like molecule called fibrinogen. And so platelets will bind the fibrinogen, aggregate, form a clot, and seal a wound and stop bleeding. And they apply this tiny little tug to distinguish whether the ligand is stuck on, at a wound site or whether the ligand is in solution. To test this, we use the technology we developed in the lab, which are molecular tension probes. They're the most sensitive way to, to measure uh, cell forces. We can measure forces to the scale of a piconewton, which is a billion times less than the weight of a staple. So we use this technology and we showed that platelets indeed pull in a very specific time and place as they're encountering fibrinogen to test it, to feel it out. And not only do they feel it out, uh, they use it for decision making. And so if the fibrinogen is stuck uh, and it can't move left or right or up or down, if it can't slip or slide laterally, then it activates immediately. If that molecule can slip and slide, much like a hockey puck would slide on a surface, then the platelet uh, completely ignores that molecule. So we think the platelet walks this, this really hard tightrope between deciding to activate and not activate. And because it has this difficult decision to make, it uses mechanics to inform it, uh, its, itself about its surrounding, about the nature of the wound. Uh, so this study really tells us about how platelets work. And the new imaging technology that we're developing here is going to open up the door to understanding many mechanical processes, because mechanics play a role in your immune system, play a role in, in the way cancer cells spread, and it's fundamental to all of biology.